All right, so that is what the side of the water wheel is going to look like from the outside. As you're looking at it, you know, as it's spinning, it's going to look like that. Kind of like it. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever it is you're watching, we just thank you for watching. In this video today, we are building or working on our water wheel. Um, we're about halfway done with it. Um, I'm basically posting this today because I'm going to be gone for a couple weekends playing old man softball on some golf, um, a little golf trip. So I will be not working on it for a little bit while after I'm done with it today. Um, so anyway, there's about half of it. We've got eh, maybe five-eighths of it done. So on this, we have, like I said, the big cable reel, seven-half foot cable reel. That is the frame of our water wheel. And then we um, put some plywood on it. We build some fins. So in this video, you'll see the process that we've gotten done so far. And you'll kind of see in your mind how what we're thinking by the time this video is over, you'll see in the route we're going with it. Um, and we went with a 7 half foot wheel, a big reel, and it's pretty heavy. <laughs> by the time it starts spinning, it's going to be hard to stop it. Um, and so we have a five and a half foot round reel. So we have a seven and a half foot reel and we have a five and a half foot round reel. That five and a half foot round reel is actually going to be what our belt goes on. So on the wheel, it's huge going down. So that little motor should just be cooking right along with what we got planned here. Anyway, guys, if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button over there on the, on the side. Or at the end of the video, there'll be a little button you can click for, to subscribe. We appreciate it greatly. Um, on our channel, we got a lot of solar stuff. If you think about doing anything with solar, we have a lot of videos on hybrid solar systems. Um, that's charge controllers. So that's uh, basically we'll go over all of it. Um, let's get on with it. Thanks for watching. All right, we're moving along. Got the rust off of one of these wheels. Got her painted black, one coat, but another coat on it later. Before I did that, I put it on these two sheets of plywood, traced around it, and now we're going to take the jigsaw, cut all this out, and then that will go on the inside of one of those reels. And we'll do another one just like it, and that will be the inside part of the water wheel. Halfway done with the first one. And there's our seven and a half foot tall circle. Basically, we took two two by, I mean, uh, two um, pieces of plywood, put them together, put the reel on them, outlined it, and that's what we got. All right, guys, so this is our homemade um, wood stain um, finisher. We took a, this little thing here, we put it halfway with diesel, halfway with motor oil, and we mixed a little bit of wood stain with it to give it some color, and uh, this is how we're staining and waterproofing our water wheel. All right, we've got our first coat of stain on with our homemade stain. Let her dry, put another coat on. All right, so that is what the side of the water wheel is gonna look like from the outside. As you're looking at it, you know, as it's spinning, it's gonna look like that. Kinda like it. So I stained, again, I stained it, two, two coats of stain on it and uh, screwed in all the edges and there and now there's a seam of plywood right there cut the circle out in the middle um, we're going to weld on a piece of metal there with the actual um, flange in it for the shaft that's what the outside is going to look like let's flip her over and uh, start building the fins i guess on this side all righty so there's our fins laid out these are cut at a 45 at this end, 45, and they're 43 inches long for the butt cut here. From the butt cut, it's a 11 and a half inches out on each one of them as it hits the butt cut. Oh, and the butt cut's got to be also right on the edge of the reel like that. And that's how I'll do that. Now we'll just mark them all with the chalk pin and then pull them off, put silicone. Maybe I'll shoot them together here like this first. Pull the silicone in there, shoot that in there, and then slide it over, chalk it out, and then put silicone down there and then 
go underneath and screw up into it to hold them into place. Or maybe I should just screw them into place right now and just put caulking right there. That's probably what I'll do. Probably easier. Anyway, moving along. So I should measure from the inside, make sure we're, well, it can't be not the same, right? It's just a perfectly round circle. All right, we'll look. All right, I got it fastened together and I shot one screw up through the, to the bottom piece. So basically the best way to do this, I found, outline all your stuff as best you can, make your marks on top, but you're gonna wanna measure at a straight 45 across that, so straight off 90 off of this board. And then take that measurement and try to make them all the same as that. So nine, for me, it's nine and three quarters to this point, you know, to this point right here, and make them all the same. And the way I did that is I did that, but I also put my edge here, and I put a screw, one screw right here, so I could adjust them all without the whole thing moving, but I could adjust them with one screw. That's eight, eight of them. Those are two by 12 PT. So now the next one will go up on top of it. Well, I'm gonna have to make a box for that. And I'll just use the, the parts of this I, I left over. Cause I made these a 43, so I have like eight inch pieces, or nine inch pieces left. So that's what we'll use. Okay, we got our uh, box in the middle for the spindle goes through. The spindle's not gonna ride on that. It's just basically support for the middle of the, of the wheel. Um, this is just the remainder of these eight foot two by 12s that we cut here. We cut them at 43 inches, which left us a perfect 13 inch, building it that way, you know. It's a 13 inch square, which is big enough to get around that inner metal circle, that welded circle that's on this, on the outside, to um, screw the, to screw up through the plywood into this, um, you know, without getting around that metal. Anyway, guys, coming along. It's so ready to make the next reel, outer reel, the plywood, and all that on the next reel.